What's going on guys, it's Renjan and welcome back to another Python tutorial. And before I get started, I want to point out, you probably already noticed, but I would like to point out that it's going to look a little different from now on, my Python tutorials, as I will be coding in Notepad++, is what you see on the screen right now. And the reason for that is basically coding in this big white screen of eyeball hurtingness is not the most enjoyable experience. So, since I can't actually run Python programs in Notepad++, I'm actually just going to copy and paste into a Python file, so it'll be less, you know, staring at white screen of nothing, and hopefully be a little bit easier on the eyes, as it's black and gray and looking not eye devouring. So, enough of that. Uh, we're going to get into our actual Python tutorial here, and as you can see from the title of this file, we're going to be talking about dictionaries. Now, you might be saying, well, we already covered dictionaries. Well, I do want to get a little bit more in-depth than we were in before. I'm going to actually tell you how to use dictionaries and, you know, how you can get some information from them, except, you know, or past what we did in the last episode where we just kind of, hey, this is a dictionary and this is how you make one and stuff. So we're actually going to be going over some more stuff, if you will. And to keep it kind of simple and put it in a way that, almost anyone can understand, let's just make a dictionary called person. And make sure you put an equal sign in a curly bracket and then we can go on the next line. Now we could put everything on the next or on this line, but I do like to space it out, especially because I'm in Notepad Plus Plus and you can see how I can close the tabs here. You'll probably I'll show you again when we actually have things there. But make sure you do tab because that will make sure or that will tell your well, I guess if you're coding in Python, it'll tell Python that it is actually part of this dictionary. So let's go ahead and put name as the person's name, and then a colon. So we're going to have, for each item, we're going to have our key separated by a colon with our value. Let's say his name's Bob. All right? Just some random name. Then age, let's go age, right? And then that'll be our key, and then our value will be, I don't know, 53. And I forgot to save this for last for the last thing, but make sure you do have commas separating all your things. So now, if we had all this on the same line, like so, you'll see where the commas really come in handy. So we'll need it like here, bada bing, and then make sure you have a, a closing curly bracket. Let's actually add one more item, but wait. All right, and colon. I don't know, uh, 210? Let's go 210. And a comma. Now, I will show you real quick how you can put these all on the separate lines to make it look a little bit more pleasing. And like so. And make sure we have our curly bracket on the next line, too, and all the way to the left. So, it's going to look just like that. And that's basically our dictionary. So now if we wanted to just call in the dictionary and print it out, we just do print person. Almost forgot our parentheses there. And let's just take all this, copy it, and put it into this file. Go ahead and run it. Python shell, and it's going to give us just our dictionary. Now it's in no specific order, as you can see, weight, name, age. We put it in name, age, weight. But it's just going to give you weight, 210, name, Bob, age, 53 basically just what we put in it, just going to give you the bare bones data and that's pretty much all it's going to give you. Now if you wanted to get just the keys, like I said these are the keys right here, name, age, and weight, we could do print person, because that is our dictionary, dot keys, and then parentheses after that because it is a function, so we're going to need to leave a uh, parameter space there, and then so we don't have to constantly flip back and forth. We're going to do another one. If we just want to get the values, which is Bob 53 and 210, put person or dictionary dot values, parentheses for parameters, and then another parenthesis to finish that off. And let's go ahead and copy all this into our Python. Oops, wrong one. Python. Bada bing run module, and okay, so let's go over everything we have here. Now, see if, after we run this again, we get our first line is actually print person, which is just printing our dictionary, and the first time we did it, let me get back, the first time we did it, it went weight, name, age, 
And this is age, name, weight. So it's not in any particular order. It's just kind of random, I guess. I'm not really sure how it decides which one's going to go first or, you know, which one goes second or last, etc. But it's not in any specific order is kind of the, the main topic here. But our next one, our next line of code was print person.keys, which is basically the keys function telling us all the dictionary keys, age, name, and weight, like we said before. And then our next line of code was print person values, and that'll give us our values, dict values, 53, Bob, and 210. So that's pretty much all I wanted to cover about dictionaries in this episode. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>